Hey there, I'm Jeffrey. I'm a Republican from the great state of Pennsylvania. I'd like to say a few things about what is soon to be the end of the Trump catastrophe. I am sick. I've never been physically sick by what has happened. I, I always had fears about Trump having to deal with some great catastrophe. And, and the man is, is a genius at making catastrophes. And he truly has made a mess of this country. He has. His words have ignited uh, the worst parts of this country and getting people who, for some silly reason, I do not even understand. I have family members that still think that he's a great president. I, I, I don't. I can't even come to terms with that thinking. But what I can tell you categorically is that he got his day in court, I think over 60 times. Every time it was thrown out, he continues to spread these lies about how unfair the election was that he won in a landslide. I mean, people wake up. How do, the, how do people not see what's going on here? I don't even hate Donald Trump. I just hate what he does and what he has done to this country. It's, it's a travesty. He will go down as the worst president ever, ever. Worse than Buchanan, who most people don't even know, was a horrible president. Nixon, we think of Nixon as a horrible president. Trump beats them all, everyone. So I'm hoping that everybody comes together who sees this might and sees other videos like this might really come to their senses and say, look, we got to get together. We're in a really, really, really tight fix right now in America. It is a mess. We got to come together and we got to support Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. He's got some great people around him, some smart people, people that know how these things work. And boy, do they have a mess to clean up. But they need us to get behind them and help them. So again, Republican, I'll be a Republican till the day I die. I'm so glad to see this man out and that this election went in the way that I wanted it to go and millions of Americans did too. But I know there's at least 74 million people that are still unhappy about it. And what happened down in Washington last week just makes me ill. Like I want to throw up.